I want to do some videos on the book of Enoch, so since it wasn't included in the Bible, I wanted to share my evidence of why I think it's still valid information. Um, Enoch was the seventh from Adam, and he was Noah's great-grandfather, and his book may have been the first book that was written before any books of the Bible were written. It was dated by historians at around 200 BC. The Book of Enoch has 108 chapters to it. Large parts of it were found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and 11 manuscripts of it have been found in total. It was one of the most popular books among early Christians. Um, the Council of Laodicea in 364 AD is where they rejected including it in Biblical canon, but they I don't take this to mean that it's an invalid book because they also wanted the book of Revelation rejected from being in the Bible. And some think that this may have been a plot of Satan to have these books removed so that the final generation wouldn't know what to look for in the second coming. The book of Enoch is canonized in Egypt and Ethiopia. And this may have been because they escaped the influence of the Roman Catholic Church, who also didn't want it included in the Bible. Um, an interesting fact is that Dante's Inferno was inspired by the Book of Enoch. Enoch was the first to prophesy Jesus' coming, and he called him the Son of Man, which Jesus also called himself. The Book of Jude quotes, quotes from Enoch. And it's almost as though he knew someday it may come into question whether or not this was the same Enoch who wrote it, because he specifies that it was the Enoch who was the seventh from Adam. Jude calls his quote from the book of Enoch prophecy, and the Bible says that no prophecy comes from man. So to me, this, this says that the book of Enoch was divinely inspired. 2 Peter 2.4 talks about the angels that were chained in darkness. And the book of Enoch is the only other reference to this. Other writers in the Bible considered this to be a, a valid book that should have been included in scripture. No part of it contradicts the scripture. And you may wonder why the book of Enoch, would, why would anyone even care about it? Well, I'll read you the first few verses here. It's Enoch 1, 1 through 3, and you'll see, see why I'm so interested in this book and want to share it and think it's important. The words of the blessing of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and the ones that know not Yahweh and Yeshua are to be removed. And he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by Yahweh, saw the vision of the one in the heavens, which the angel showed me. And from them I, I heard everything, and from then I understood as I saw. But not for this generation, but for a remote, a remote one, which is to come. So he's basically saying that his book was written for the final generation. And it's interesting that that the book of Enoch was lost for so many years, and it's just it's kind of recently coming back to where people are looking at it again. So maybe this is the final generation, but whether or not that's true, only God knows. And this, the book of Enoch still contains a lot of really interesting information, though, and I'm eager to share it in upcoming videos. Thank you, and God bless you.